just me and uh, my wife's cousin opened this place up 33 years ago. It had nothing on the bayou. We had no kind of restaurant or anything, so we decided to open up a little fast food restaurant. And as you can see, the building is, uh, one part of it is older than the other part because we was just a chicken place at the time. And as we grew, Miss Annie Miller joined us over here. Uh, she was a swamp chair lady and she joined us over here and we started getting buses and we started getting large groups. We started, advan uh, you know, getting more customers. So we uh, decided to add on to the building where we could seat at least 100 people. Business started being really good. We've been successful for 33 years and it's been really good. You know, we do a lot of Cajun cooking, Creole cuisine, a lot of the recipes on my mom's and dad's and we always like to put Cajun with a twist on it. Miss Danny came here, I guess, after 10 years when we were here. We built the dock for her so she was able to, to load up her, her the, the customers that came. We got people come from all over the world, from France, Switzerland, Russia, Africa, everywhere, Ireland, and we started getting bus groups, and so we, we invited her to move here to be with us, and she said it was a great idea because people would come here, they would go on the tour, they would come back and eat some Cajun food, and they was really excited about it, and it turned into be a big thing. Miss Annie at the time was doing like two or three boats twice a day with people. And she did it for a long time. Miss Annie was a trapper. She did alligator. She did uh, raccoon. She did coon. She did everything. Then when she passed, her son took over. Now he's doing the tours here. He still continues. And it's, it's, it's alligator, Annie's, and son. We take a lot of pride. We like to make sure our customers, especially tourists too, that they remember us when they leave. They remember our southern hospitality. We try to treat them like uh like their family when they walk in the door, you know, like they mean something to us, because they do. You know, without them, we'd have nothing. And we appreciate their business and going back and talk about us, and it makes us feel good. You know, it makes us feel like we're doing something right. Today, we're cooking alligator sauce picon. This is a very, very special recipe that we use here. It's not a very complicated recipe, but it's really delicious. It's one of our specialties that we sell here, and we specially sell it a lot to the tourists, to the people that come by and visit us in Louisiana. First thing we do is we buy alligator meat from alligator farms down here. There are a lot of farms down here right now that, um, that people that produce alligators, they raise alligators and they sell the meat, they sell the hide, and we buy the meat from them. And it's usually we buy tail meat because it's very, very lean. We take this meat, we trim the fat off of it, and we cut it into tiny, tiny pieces. And then we take this meat and we wash it really good, clean it really good, and then we put it in a pan and we put onions, celery, bell pepper, garlic powder, red pepper. Uh, we put a type of season oil, a mixture of season that we mix together. We put black pepper and we season it really, really good and we mix it up. And I let it marinate for two days because the more it marinates, the better the taste of the food, the better the flavor of the herbs and the spices that are gonna come through. Then I usually bake my alligator meat in the oven because while I'm putting the sauces together, I'll take a can of, I'll, I'll take some oil in the pot and I'll layer it with some onions and I'll saute that down, throw a little celery and bell pepper, saute that down too. And then I add tomato paste, cook that a while. Then we add tomato sauce. And we let the tomato sauce cook, put a dab of sugar, a little bit of sugar in it, kind of take the tart out a little bit. And then we let it cook a while. We let the sauce cook at least three to four hours on the stove, this sauce is gonna be cooking. Then, when the sauce is almost ready and the meat has cooked in the oven, we'll take the meat out the oven and I'll drain some of it because it'll make some juices. And I'll drain some of the juices out. Now remember, all the meat has all the herbs and spices in the meat that is cooked in the oven. And then we pour it into the pot and we let it cook and let it simmer down and the meat gets really, really extra tender where it melts in your mouth. Then we garnish it with some green onions and then the meal is cooked and then we serve it over white rice. It is a meal to die for. Tonight, on Fridays and Saturday nights, it's tonight's Friday, we always have a Cajun uh, musician here. It's usually a one-piece guy, and I have three of them, and they all take turns, and one week one plays, and the next, and the next. And they're really excited, and 
of that guys that have been here, they're, they're Cajuns themselves, they've been here all their lives and they've learned how to play Cajun music and it's been their lifestyle through their parents and they kind of like inherited this trait and they come over here and boy they play Cajun music, we have people from all over that come here and they dance, they do Cajun, mu Cajun dancing and the, the customers and the tourists that come here are all excited to watch them dance, they have a ball and it's really a nice treat for our customers, they enjoy that. Well, I've been, I, I played for a long time. I've been playing since I was young. Uh, I probably, I, I probably around 15 years old. I used to play a, a place, and we were doing a three-piece band, and we was playing for two. I was playing for two dollars a night. That's how long ago it was. And like, and I liked the money too in those days. I come here on, uh, uh, on, uh, and I play uh, Friday and Saturday for them. They dance, they eat, they listen to the music, and. Uh, they have a good time. Everything over here is good. This is Homer's best known little secret, this restaurant. The dancers are really excited. They get involved with the tourists that come here and even the locals. The locals have a great time here. They like to come over here sometime in the afternoon, have their coffee, drink their little beer, and they have a great little time. They visit with each other. So it's become like a community spot. It has become a place where people can come and recreate, dance, eat, gather with their friends, and be comfortable and know that they can enjoy their stuff at By the Light Restaurant. Well, our time's just about up. As always, we want to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. So until next time, keep on casting. <laughs>